What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are back. Damn. Somebody hit a sandhill crane by my RV park the other day. And uh, apparently it's a big no-no to hit a sandhill crane out here. They're, they're a federally, I'm not sure it's federally or a state protected uh, bird. Nothing happens to you though if you do it. Yeah. But you know, sometimes you, you can't just kind of, yeah, they're big birds. Anyway, today guys, um, Hold on, I gotta get there. I, I got a whole, a whole story to tell you guys, really. <laughs> but we are at Lowe's. We're gonna be looking at some flooring for the van, and uh, that's pretty much what I'm gonna leave it at right now. And then once we get back to the house, I will talk to you guys a little bit more. Cody is super excited because he's coming with us to Lowe's. I know, I know. Okay. So I'm gonna jump inside Lowe's. We're gonna look for some fresh flooring for the van, and then uh, I'll get back to you guys once we get to uh, back to the RV. Just got back from Lowe's and uh, we got some new flooring and uh, I got some I got a new different kind of adhesive this time I'm not sure I think it's the heat that kind of messed it up but we bought this like glue paste type of too. adhesive and um, you know last time I think the heat like softened the glue up and it started shifting on me going in and out of the van so we're gonna try something different this time we've actually used it in the past uh, in a class A that we flipped. I didn't have it very long, so I didn't get to see how it held up, but we'll find out eventually. <laughs> All right, so Sam wants to show you, if you come over here, Sam. Um, Sam's gonna show you the flooring we got. Look at that sunset. Wow. That is really nice. I don't know if you guys saw the moon the last two nights, but it was really nice, a big moon. All right, so hopefully we can open this up. <laughs> I'm not sure. But as you guys can see, I put the pretty much the same bed frame in more or less. I just didn't do the under supports. Um, that way I have a little bit more clearance and I can fit the generator in here or in the front, uh, probably whatever go, is easier. Excuse me. Which will probably go back in the front because the bike is going to be on the back of here. Right. So when we do jobs, I don't want to have to take the bike off. Right. I don't think I have a knife on it. So we're opening it that way. Right. Let me help her. I'll be right back. All right. Hopefully you guys can see it because it is getting kind of dark. <laughs> Come on, door. Cooperate. <laughs> but this will be our nice new form. It's pretty nice. It's like a grayish color and it has some... Okay. Things are just falling out of the van. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, it's nice. It's it's a lot lighter than the one we have in there now. And I think it'll kind of... I'm curious to see what it looks like. Yeah. I think it'll kind of help brighten the van up a little bit inside. Oh, don't get me started on this damn thing again. <laughs> <laughs> now this damn latch, this little thing popped off of in here. So I got to re-pop that in. I, I give, these windows suck. So yeah, so it's kind of dark in here. Um, but you guys can don't see that, that's the original wood, you know, that we have in here now. And then this will be the new one. So it's, it's quite a bit brighter and I hope it lights it up. So we're starting to load stuff up um, in the van. I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about that, but yeah so that will be nice with the van I'm, I'm pretty excited about that so let me just get everything away it's starting to drizzle here so i'm gonna bring everything in and then we'll see you guys once we get in the van oh and we bought this stuff too this is this is what i used on the fifth wheel this is from tech skill set oh yeah class a excuse me and uh you basically just take a roller and you mix it with a little bit of water i think it's half and half and then it becomes like a super sticky like watery kind of consistency and then you just roll it on the wood and then you let it dry and then you stick it down and that's it all right guys the van <laughs> the camper um so i just had somebody come by so i'm basically gonna tell you guys what's going on now cody excuse me wait you want to say hi you haven't said hi to people in a while are you doing okay yeah you got some you got some paint on his butt all right 
All right. So we've been in a camper about a month and uh, I'm just, it's just not for me, man. It, it's not for me to sit here at the same RV park and do the same thing over and over every day. Uh, I really tried it. I really like the amenities, you know, having the bathroom and the shower and everything and the nice comfortable bed and not having to worry about plugging in to anywhere is nice. But I just, I don't know. I just it's it repetitive and it's getting, it's hard to find campgrounds over here. Yeah. Well, it's not hard to find campgrounds. It's hard to find campgrounds where you're not getting totally ripped off. You know, I like going around and, and doing jobs and saving money and you know, now I'm going to be going out and I'm going to be doing a lot more activities. I'm going to be bringing Cody different places, us different places. Um, you know, we do a lot more traveling. We'll be able to do a lot more vlogs. The reason we haven't really been vlogging is because we've been sitting here pretty much doing not much. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't want to be doing... if we do, it's not even worth vlogging it. Yeah, I just didn't want to be shooting the same vlogs over and over and over, guys. It's just, um, I didn't think that was something you guys wanted to see. So, uh, somebody came by today, uh, a nice older couple, and they loved the camper. We cleaned it up. It's brand new inside and it was a brand new camper and uh they, they bought it from us so they are um picking it up tomorrow they left us a deposit being today is memorial day uh the banks aren't open for them to pull out that kind of cash you can't pull that kind of cash out through an atm so they gave us a deposit they said their bank opens at nine i think so they'll be here around 9 30 10 o'clock tomorrow i'll have it all ready little jacks up awning in and uh ready for them to go with the title so, you know, we, we, I tried. I really did try. I put a, an honest month in. And the, after the first week, I was starting to like, you know. Crazy. Yeah, I was just going nuts. So, and the fact that you had to pay $600, $650 a month to stay here is, is crazy. It's a nice campground. It's nice and quiet and everything. You know, I don't really have a problem with anybody. But it just, I just, I got to be on the move. I got to, you know, whatever. So. I'd rather I, spend that $600 in activities. Yeah, absolutely. So. Today, I am finally going to get our flooring in. Um, we're going to just put all this stuff on our little bed area for a minute. I'm going to peel up all the old flooring. We're going to put down this new liquid stuff it's that I right showed there you guys. To the flooring if you guys didn't get a good look at yeah. it. And uh, so I'm going to prep the floor, then we'll put that down, let it dry nice, and then we'll move everything back in. I have a, I have a, one new thing of furniture, I think you guys saw it. I'm not sure, it's a uh, six cube storage thing and we're gonna put that over here on this wall and it has six cubes in it so it'll have a ton of storage we can prep or whatever on on top of it once it's in you guys will see it better but uh yeah so it's gonna look a little different in here not too much and i gotta get new lights and i'm gonna add another solar panel to this roof at least one maybe two it'd be nice in the future we're still we're looking on craigslist for now um a class thing. yeah I found a couple, uh, like 97s, 98s with like 50,000 miles on them for about 23,000. Um, the Class Cs tend to hold their value pretty good. Yeah. So, so it'd be nice to travel and have the amenities with us. Yeah. So we'll see down the line. I want to, you know, I want to save up. I'm yeah. going to put this money in the bank and then do a couple more jobs. Really got a good savings going. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we go from there. Anyway, I'm going to pull this floor out and uh, prep it. All right. So I got my roller out and I rolled the floors. Hopefully you guys can see. Uh, just did it quick. I'm going to smooth out these edges and stuff where you see these lines. But did that pretty quick. This is what it looks like. It's like a goo. I don't know. But uh, hopefully it's, it's, it's better. It's super sticky, that's for sure. So we're going to wait. I think you got to wait a couple hours for this to like really cure. It turns clear, I think, when it's done drying. And then uh, after that, we'll put the tile down. All right. We're in here with a nice new floor. I am not a pro at laying flooring by any <laughs> means, but uh, it looks pretty good. It looks much brighter in here, that's for sure. And then Sam just drilled in back in our little basket thing for storage. That we still got the one up here. I don't know if I guys ever showed you, but that's where the solar runs in. Um, and then we're going to get another panel and uh, run it right through that same hole. <sighs> so as you can see, I got all the bedding stuff to make it. Uh, we got a six inch memory foam mattress now, which is going to be really nice. Six? It's four inch. Oh, four inch. <laughs> Either way, it's super comfortable. All right, you coming out? All right, so I have a lot left over, so we're going to return them. You can actually return them um, singularly uh, to Lowe's or Home Depot as well, because you can buy as many or as little as you need. So that's cool. We're going to, uh, it's getting really hot today. The sun is not a joke today. So we're going to go get some. Uh, buffalo wings to go and we're gonna bring them back here and hang out because I have all this crap outside 
<laughs> because this guy came you know today to look at the rv so i wanted to like stage it and make it look nice and give him a good idea of what it looks like and i you know all my crap in there <laughs> doesn't exactly look nice so i pulled everything out that way he gets a good idea but we're gonna go jump to buffalo wild wings and then uh, i gotta go out of storage i gotta do an oil change on this van before we go hit the road and an oil change on the generator so we have some things to do today so let me go get my food and i'll get back with you guys all right we're making some headway i thank you um so as you guys can see, this pile is getting slowly smaller and smaller. We are starting to put some more stuff in the van. Are you excited to go? Are you excited to get back on the road and see different things? I don't think he likes staying in the RV all the time. No, I know. All right. We're so, two toys. yeah, we're bringing, yeah, he has like a hundred toys and they always take up the damn whole van and I'm tripping on them and it's not good. So we're taking Barry Manilow and Vicky the Chicky. Yeah, and that's <laughs> it, Cody. Don't don't ask me for any more toys. I don't want to hear it. That's me that gets suckered in when I see something cute. Yeah. All right, so just did a full synthetic oil change on the van, so we are good for up to 5,000 miles on that. Um, did oil change, oil filter, checked everything underneath, made sure everything was up, lubed up and everything. Um, transmission is looking great since this guy came by. He... He, um, f he didn't do a flush. He just dropped the pan, dropped the fluid, and he put a new filter in. And Because um, I was getting a bad transmission leak from the pan. I think the gasket was going bad. And since he's done that, it is bone dry under there. We are good to go. <sighs> I'm, I'm exhausted. We've been running around all day. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings, and then I stopped at um, Dollar General because we have no more drinks. And then I had to stop at... Um, AutoZone. So I had to pick up oil for the van and uh, I also did a fresh oil change on the generator. We are at 880 hours right now on that generator. So if you guys are looking for a really dependable, really quiet, um, you know, fuel efficient generator that runs 12 hours on two and a half gallons of gas and powers either your whole van or your whole RV, um, the Predator 3500 is definitely the way to go. Uh, I also changed out the spark plug from the original one. It was a cheap torch spark plug it's like i guess it's a cheap chinese brand i'm not really sure i didn't have any problems with it but i figured um you know 880 hours on it may as well give it a change so i put an ngk bp res 7 something like that so i'll put it up above I, I can't remember the exact name but it's the, it's the most popular ngk spark plug uh that people put in this generator so that's like why the window freaking broke man maybe <laughs> so that's running really good right now my next project Sam is kind of organizing everything in the van. I'm probably gonna start working on that window. I gotta fix that. I didn't know that tomorrow is checkout day. I thought we had two more days, so it's uh. And it's expensive to stay here at night. Oh my god, guys! The, tell me, tell me how this plays out. It's how much is it a month here? It's five hundred and sixty-six dollars a month to stay here, plus electric. I wanted to see if I could extend it just a week and stay in the van. She said, yeah, you could stay in the van. I said, awesome. Um, I said, how much is it just for a week? Just so I can kind of like get my bearings with the van still. I'm still working on some things instead of rushing like I am now. Um, $480 to stay here for the, for the week. Uh, because if you do it by the week, it's $70 a night. So I was like, okay, thanks anyway. <laughs> Yeah, another another hundred bucks I could stay here the whole month. It doesn't make any damn sense. But uh yeah, so we're just gonna finish cleaning all this up, packing up. Oh, my Alpi cool. My damn Alpi cool fridge. I left it outside last night. Didn't realize it was gonna rain. I'm not sure if that's what did it, the humidity or whatnot. I'm hoping maybe the sun hitting it will dry it out. But I lost one compressor and it's not cooling the left side of my fridge freezer, so that kind of stinks. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Like, it'll it'll show you, see how this one says? Oh, I just touched it. So we have it set to 19 degrees. We just turned it on. Uh, right now it's at 27. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then this one, no matter what I set it to, like here I set it to 19, but then it just goes away after it blinks. So it shows nothing. And that's, that side of the cooler is totally warm. <sighs> I don't know. You know, it's not the most expensive fridge in the world, but it's it's pretty expensive. It's almost 300 bucks. I don't know. Might have to get a new one down the line. We'll say we were looking at um like mini fridge styles, like dorm styles, but they're I don't know. They're just so damn big. Yeah. 
we might get a smaller Alpi pool because we feel we don't really cook that much. Yeah, so pretty lazy. <laughs> well, you know, when it's hot outside, or you just, I don't know, ain't just lazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me finish cleaning up here and then I'll get back with you guys once this uh, tornado is cleaned up. All right, so Sam brought it to my attention that we have a nail in this tire. And uh, I kind of noticed it was getting a little low, but I never saw the, the nail until she pointed it out. So uh, we're gonna pull this tire off and uh, I have plugs. So I'm just gonna plug the tire. All right, we located the culprit. This is the one that Sam found. So luckily enough, it is far enough inside from the sidewall that we could just plug it. So that's what we're going to do. If it was closer to here, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with plugging or patching tires, um, you wouldn't be able to do it because of the bend of the tire. As it rotates, it'll flex too much and a patch would never hold. A plug might hold temporarily if you really had to in an emergency, but um, they would not be able to patch that. So. Luckily enough, it is far in where we could either patch or plug it. Um, I don't have a thing to take the tire off. That's how you'd plug it, uh, patch it. So we're just gonna plug it. All right, so when you have your hole, you have your screw in there, you're gonna take the screw out. You're gonna hear the air coming out. You're gonna take your sharp tool, put it in the tire, and you're gonna go in and out like this. And that's gonna give you a nice clean hole that you're gonna plug. Next. You're gonna take some cement on here, plop it on here. I do it on both sides. Take this, and then real quick, this is a really quick procedure. You're gonna go in. And then really quick, once you plug this, you're gonna pull it out really quick. And that's it. Now, if you had a lot of tail hanging out, a lot of excess of this, this kit particularly comes with a little razor blade so you could take this and just cut off whatever extra this really isn't a big deal as the tire is going around it'll just wear off um we can cut a little bit of it obviously you want to make sure not to cut your tire anymore all right so now that we have our patch or our plug plugged in there i put my ear right here i didn't hear anything coming out but the ultimate test is pouring water on it and seeing if it bubbles. So let's see. All right, I'll take it away. No oh. bubbles, no bubbles at all. And that's how you know you did it right. So let's give one more bubbly test. Nothing. All right, so we're good to go. So now we'll, uh, well, the sun's in my eye. So now we'll pull out my little handy dandy inflator and we will inflate this tire back to 40 pounds. Um, always check whatever your tire pressure is. This one is an off-road tire, so it tends to be a little heavier. Um, but yeah, so minus 40 pounds. We're going to air that up, put it back on the uh, van over here, and then continue on with our day, guys. All right, we got this tire back on. Um, just wanted to shout out, not shout out, but point out that if you guys are going to live in a van or a schoolie or whatever you're living in, it's pretty imperative to learn how to tie, how to, how to fix a tire, how to change a spare, um, you know, you could be out in the mountains or in the desert and help could be a long, far journey away. So, um, even just to change a tire could take a couple hours. So. And you wouldn't want to use your AAA on something so easy. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just have a four-way, just have a four-way tire iron, something like this. And a jack that's... Yeah, and a jack, you know, a nice heavy-duty jack. That actually lifts up your van and I have to cinder block it. Yeah, I had to cinder block <laughs> mine because, uh... Yeah, whatever. I gotta upgrade my tools. Anyway, I got the job done. Oh, yeah, listen to us. Meanwhile, we don't know the proper tools. <laughs> hey, I got my tire changed by myself. Didn't ask anybody. I even plugged my own tire. But, uh, yeah, it's definitely good to know how to change a tire. You know, it, it, you know, I've seen, I've heard stories where someone's broke down the side of the road and somebody comes up to help them. And, uh, you know, it, it ends up being some kind of serial killer or something. So, you know, I'm just saying it's safe. Right, Sam? Dare for an effort to try me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got that on. Just gotta drop it, fill it with air, and then we'll be good to go and we'll move on with the rest of our day. I figure while I have this out, I'll give you guys a quick tour of it. I got this. This is a Pittsburgh 12 volt 150 psi max um, portable inflator that I got from Harbor Freight. 
You guys know I like shopping there. I get a lot of tools from there. This little air compressor is eight bucks, guys. <laughs> so if you guys are even on a tight budget or whatever, um, you know, it, it's not the fastest inflator in the world by any means. It actually takes quite a while, but it will get the job done. It's DC powered, so you could take your Jackery with a DC port or the DC port on your car. Um, it gives you a pretty long cable. I'd say about, I don't know, eight feet. And uh, you have a little switch right here. And you just turn it on. And you can watch the gauge. And you'll see it go up and up and up. So you're at the presser that you need to be at. So yeah, check that out, eight bucks. Totally worth having in your car. Could be a lifesaver, you never know. All right, so. As you can see, we are starting to uh, try to organize here a little bit. Got my whole toolkit area going on over here. Jack, four-way in the back, air compressor. And then uh, we got a couple of random things, dog food, extra oil, transmission fluid, coolant, um, gas can for the generator. This is Sam's air fryer. We're gonna see how that works. <laughs> got the stove in the back. And then I got all my paint supplies. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's over here in the area. <laughs> We're getting there. Almost done. Just a couple more things. This stuff I'm all going to take. Um, I'm going to see if anybody wants any of this stuff. Otherwise, I'm just going to, you know, throw it in the garbage. But I don't know. The clouds are looking a little iffy back there. So we're trying to, like, wrap up real quick before it gets raining. Right, Sam? Oh, shut up. That's nice. <laughs> uh, and then I got to put the hitch back on for the motorcycle. Uh. Yep, tie that down. <laughs> you guys like how I... Uh... Yeah, this is how we do laundry. We wash it and then we just hang it on whatever's nearby. <laughs> hey, it works, whatever. So we're gonna finish wrapping up here, clean it up, and uh, then we're gonna go to Publix. And we'll get some fruit. They make these awesome fruit bowls. They're really good, you guys should try them. Their fruit is the best. So we're gonna get some fruit and just hang out for the night. These guys are gonna be here uh, between 9.30 and 10 tomorrow to pick this thing up. I'm gonna have it ready to go, jacks up, awning in. Uh, stabilizers up like everything so they could just come hook up to it I'll sign the title um, we'll swap some money and uh, just get out of here all right guys <gasps> I know I didn't show you guys much of this camper and, and uh, I'm not sorry <laughs> I am super happy to say that this is the last night we'll be in this uh, before we hit the road again oh, and no! really get into some stuff what happened I'm bleeding Oh no. I need stitches. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got the whole camper cleaned up, the outside, everything is put in the van. Most um, of it. <laughs> yeah, just a couple little things I need to throw in the van. Um, she'll, like I said, she'll be here around 10 o'clock tomorrow, and we will be hitting the road, guys. Um, listen, I don't want to hear any comments about told you so, or you guys don't know what you're doing. I tried the RV thing. I like being on the road. And uh, down the line, you know, I'm sure we'll get a Class C. But, we really liked, when we saw this online, we really liked it. And we're like, all right, let's give it another shot. And, yeah. you know, the first couple of weeks, it was nice. But then we, had, like, almost every day, we're getting people hitting us up, asking where the videos are at. And it's, we weren't doing much to even video it. And, you know, we miss making, you know, videos quick. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... You know, I, I think I, I think the the ultimate attraction for me was the fact that I could buy a brand new camper cash. Yeah. And uh, I didn't have to, you know, because I'm we're not a big on financing and stuff like that. Like uh, I, I don't do that. I don't like the recurring bills. So, I think that's what really got me. But it's just, uh, not a big deal. I'd rather be in my '98 Chevy um, Express van and traveling on the road. Different. I yeah. feel like we don't have that, mu that much stuff anymore. Yeah, and we have s more storage. Um, you know, oh. We're going to be putting this in there tomorrow morning. Uh, the TV, I don't know what we're going to do with, to be honest. It's pretty big <laughs> for the van. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to go back to like the tablet or whatnot. But I don't want to hear no negative comments, guys. Um, if, Just say you're glad to see us back. Yeah. Please. And if, and, Please. If, and if if I drive you nuts, um, then I'm sorry. And uh, you don't have to follow. Oh. I mean, you, you, just, guys, you guys know, I mean, if you follow us from the beginning, you know that we love trying different things. And yeah, so. Yeah. That's it. But I promise you, we will be on the road from now on, whether it's in the van or a Class C, yeah. we're going to be on the road. That's just the way I like it. Um, I don't like paying almost six, seven hundred dollars a month for a piece of grass. Yeah. So. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this video up because we got to get to bed early tonight because we have to be up early to do all ah. this stuff. So hope you guys are all having a great night. 
Uh, make sure to subscribe and like, especially if you guys are into the van life. That's what we'll be doing. I got a whole bunch of stuff I'm going to be working on with the van. Um, fixing it up. Sam's just passed out, so... <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully tomorrow, but I promise we are going to be pumping out videos now, now that I have content to put out. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.